Uh, our next guest, you want to go to the next guest? Yeah, you let's, let's do it. Yeah, let's get is uh, Dr. Jamie Turndorf. She's the author of Kiss Your Fights Goodbye, Dr. Love's 10 Simple Steps to Cooling Conflict and Rekindling Your Relationship. Dr. Turndorf, how are you? How are you? I'm wonderful. It's, it's, it's great to talk to you now. I have, before we get into that, and, and you wanted to talk about something else as well, I know, but uh, you talked 10 Simple Steps to Cooling Conflict and Rekindling Your Relationship. That's the name of your book, right? Yeah, well, that's the uh, subtitle, yeah. All right, so anyway, this was my answer to rekindling my relationship. You mean a gun, a knife, a, no, a no, baseball no, bat? No, 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 no. no, no. no. Here it is. You don't do that stuff, Doctor. What's the matter with Ma- you? Mary- I know, I know. I need my head examined. It's Mar- tasteless. Buddy. Marry a woman in 1997. This is a great story right here. Marry a woman in 1997, split up in 1998, finally get the divorce, and then don't talk to her and have no communication with her at all, or see her or even know where she is anymore for 12 years, and then meet her again on New Year's Eve, and, and everything is, is wonderful. Yeah. And you start all over. You know, it's a good story. and It's, it's, it's a, a true story. It's yeah. right. It made sense to me. So that's because, what I did. You know, the story shows you that when we are drawn to people and we fall in love, it's not that we are not in love it, it, that breaks us up. It's that we don't know how to resolve the inevitable conflicts that arise in our relationships yeah. and the angry feelings that come up erode the love and what my book kiss your fights is all about is it shows you how to resolve these inevitable conflicts so that the love doesn't get destroyed and it can shine through. i'll tell you what it is and you can have fights but you start saying some mean things that uh-huh. you can't take back that relationship is over you know what i my, said? my wife know? will always say watch your mouth you know what? Watch, it. Watch your mouth or your relationship will go south, and yep. whatever you say and do boomerangs back on you. So, you, you guys, you want me to talk to you about the book a little bit? Sure. Uh, sure. All doctor. right. Well, see, this is the thing. My book talks about uh, husband withdrawal, and I'm not talking about a natural form of birth control. <laughs> I'm talking about the number one cause of relationships. She, she made a funny pun. Yeah. I did. Yes, <laughs> doctor, save the jokes I just for me. It right out That's there, my you job. Know? It's nice. You saw it coming, too, right? So well, not it, really. It is the number one cause of relationship, discord, divorce, and domestic violence. So what is husband withdrawal? Millions of women throughout the world are all too familiar with the way guys distance emotionally or physically when conflict erupts. And this is the demand withdrawal negative escalation cycle, or husband withdrawal for short. Number one cause of breakups and divorce. What causes this? Heated fighting triggers a biochemical imbalance in men's bodies that causes them to withdraw from conflict. And it is an involuntary biochemical imbalance. So we we can't help it. You can't have it because your bodies are hardwired to be hyper-reactive to stress and danger. And this programming dates back to prehistoric times when guys were hunters, and they needed to react with lightning speed to flee or to fight dangerous prey. So check it out. Modern danger is no longer the ferocious tiger. It's the pissed-off wife or girlfriend. When she comes at a man, baring her teeth and berating him with criticism, Mm -hmm. his body sees danger and involuntarily switches into autonomic nervous system a real doctor. I'm a PhD in psych. Yeah, that's so not real. She's doctor, saying though. she's saying though well, basically. In, I'm telling you, in okay. conflict, this is autonomic. But, I've done research on it. We have lots autonomic. of research on this. It what triggers ANS arousal, and oh, that causes arousal? the fight flight, flight that response. Do- Doctor Turndorf, let me help uh, my my co-host Tracy out. When she said autonomic, she means the guy's Audi becomes an innie. Uh, oh, that's we're, uh, <laughs> we're gonna take a quick break. An eater, you mean? Doctor Doctor Turndorf, can you hold on for a moment? Not really. No. <laughs> Uh, yes, you will. Jokes you will, talking. and you'll enjoy it. Sit in the green room for a minute. <laughs> Traffic and weather together on the 10th. Bruce Davis with a check on the highways and byways. Uh, the accident's gone west 275 at Hamilton Avenue. The result is you're still slow, though, from Route 4 all the way past, almost to Corrine Avenue. Uh, Hamilton, south of Reagan, there's an accident involving a pedestrian. you got a broken down north 75 near Hopple, but the brake lights don't start till Mitchell and then through Paddock and then Shepherd to Sharon. Southbound at Lachlan, slow, and you're slow again you know, around Mitchell and then approaching the bridge. Bridge, northbound 71 from the lateral off and on to Pfeiffer and southbound Taft to the bridge is very slow. Amber Davis with traffic sponsored by Watson's for all the fun. 700 WLW. Your Fox 19 storm track the forecast as follows. Clear, not as cold, a low of nine, but you know. Take what you can get at this point. 32 tomorrow. We'll start with sunshine, more clouds in the afternoon, a chance of snow showers tomorrow night into Friday morning. Uh, The low then 25, the high on Friday to end the work week 34-21 now. And if she's still there, she didn't leave like she's threatened to do. Dr. Jamie Turndorf, 
author of Kiss Your Fights Goodbye, Dr. Love's 10 Simple Steps to Cooling Conflict, Rekindling Your Relationship. So other than watching the words you use that you can't take, what are some of the other simple okay, steps? Okay, so this is really important. You got it. Because you have to cool the climate down. Heated fighting triggers husband withdrawal and fighting. So we have to cool the climate down. So I have a series of relationship climate control techniques that do this, okay? And the first one you alluded to in the last segment, you have got to identify and eliminate your fight trap. These are those faulty, dysfunctional fighting tactics that everybody uses. They heat the climate. And I break them into two categories. Open warfare, those are those outright slams, you know, name-calling. Yeah. character assassination, and um, secret warfare, which is more subtle, whining, nagging, guilt tripping, doesn't matter whether you use open or secret warfare, it heats the climate, causes more husband withdrawal and fighting. What about, wi- what about women who just hold on to stuff forever and then bring it up six months later? Right. That's, that fight trap is called ancient history. Uh-huh. You know, that's a biggie, and it's one of the fight traps. You've got to ditch if you want to make your relationship last and you don't want it to be eroded by the negative feelings. You know, and I have other cool-down techniques. And basically, the great thing about this method that I have here is you cool the climate down, husband withdrawal stops, and guess what? You actually have a guy who wants to stay and work your issue out with you, and they do. Doc, can I ask you a question? First of all, you you really can talk a lot. You're like the female version of Scott Sloan. Oh, yeah? You you know, you talked about sex. You know, Did I I mention sex? Yeah, you know what? That kind of bothers me because when I'm with my, no, my hus- wife, I, I make love, hus- not sex. Husband withdrawal had nothing to do with sex. I wasn't talking about sex. No, you, you brought up the brain. You, no, you brought up sex two or three times. And I'm just yeah? talking about making love. I don't like that word sex. Oh, uh, yeah? I like All to right. cuddle. I like to warm her up. You know what so I mean? How do you, you just... like to do it? <laughs> how do I? Yeah. Reverse cowgirl. <laughs> They're sexual fights, you know. You ever tried um, that position, Doc? Which one? Reverse cowgirl. No, no, no. Only the, um, I I think you might be a backdoor man, you know. Have you ever tried the Daryl Parks? (laughs) Is this, are we interviewing me on my sexual habits? Are we talking about how to kiss your fights? Yeah, we're interviewing you. What are you wearing? (laughs) Well, well, doctor, I'm interviewing you about your book, Mm. and he's interviewing about your sexual habits. Yes, apparently. we got to lay him on the couch. Oh, well, I think she's suggesting dirty, something, dirty Tracy. Dirty, doctor. I hope L.A. is listening to this. Yeah, yeah. L.A., yeah. when he gets home, lay him on the couch. How yeah, old are you, go. doctor? How old are you? Yeah, I'm 52, <laughs> but I look 49. And he act, oh, and you he, don't look a and, day over 51. Huh? And, he acts, and he acts 14, as you're yeah, clearly very, child, very childish. I've but noticed. are you married? I was married for 27 years. My husband died of a bee sting. Oh. We were crazy for each other. I uh, love, uh, really a crazy. Bee of a bee sting? An allergic mm-hmm. reaction? That's yeah. awful, doctor. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, But it was an, inc- an incredible love affair. Somebody asked me when I did um, a book signing, you know, how many marriages have you had? And I said, 84. You know, they were yes. my experience, <laughs> experiments. I buried them in the backyard. But you know what, doctor? <laughs> in, in all seriousness, for being together she is that funny. long. Dr- she's very on. funny. I know. No, she's funnier than you are today. <laughs> she's very funny. But you <laughs> know, doctor, than you sex are. is very important right Listen, in a does relationship this guy have like sex on the brain or what man yeah. he's, he's, i mean but that's important all right, so let's talk about the battle of the bulge okay because right. i have a whole the tripod the i know exactly about it maybe i should speak about this <laughs> the battle of the bulge believe it or not this is an area that is often a great source of conflict and what most couples don't realize is it. that we are often fighting about other issues that are being played out in the sexual arena and using my technique, reading between the sheets, you can actually uncover and resolve the deeper issues that are fueling I, your sexual fight. Doctor, can you I, read me a bedtime story. Doctor, no, oh, no. He's, I think you might be too young. Doctor, I didn't have I didn't have sex on the brain when we started this, but I need to leave the room for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, just a moment. Don't yeah. advertise that it's only a moment. Doc, but but <laughs> but honestly, what what do you think? Why were you so successful in your relationship? Why? He he did leave the room. <laughs> No, he didn't. He left me alone I, I, with you? No, go ahead, Doc. The, I love your voice, things, by the way. Three things that make a relationship work. Well, actually, in Kiss Your Fights Goodbye, I give you the ten steps, how to cool it, how to resolve conflicts, but it really boils down to three things. Mm-hmm. You have to really respect each other. You have to have an incredible trust. Feel that they're, the I feel so closed. much better now. Go Did ahead, Doc. The knee's back. He's back. Yeah. And you have to... Love is really a four-letter word that's spelled give. Ooh, I like that. Give. Oh, that's good. 
Kim. That's a little corny, isn't it, Doug? Mm, are you divorced yet? Yeah, I was, I've divorced once. There you I'm go. I'm about my ready for my second one. <laughs> there you go. Imagine so that. Give more. I call it re- relationship essential nutrients. People don't realize that a lot of things you fight about could actually be diverted if you understand what these nutrients are, and I spell them out and kiss your fights goodbye, and you feed each other these nutrients, you head off fights. Mm. You know, you know, I told you, doctor, about a little bit about my my way of rekindling yeah. a relationship. It's a very cool story. But but here's the thing: uh, since we have reconnected, yeah, you're we, better than ever. We have, oh, absolutely, and we mm-hmm. have laughed about yep. the things that drew us apart. We've talked about it and laughed about it now, and yep. it, and and every time, it it, it even gets a this little bit. This is a love story. It really un- is uncomfortable. Yeah. We we, we we look at each other and smile and laugh and, and just go on with the conversation. It's it's really been wonderful. So I You I, were made for each other. I don't think I need well, to read got your a book. divorce. He was married twelve years ago to this woman. Well, fourteen years. They listening? were made for each other. Listen, so many people break up and divorce thinking they're incompatible. That is not the case at all. Your initial impulse, the love that you felt, is what drew you together. You love each other. You just didn't learn how to resolve your conflicts and the angry feelings that go with it, and you killed your love. And that's what my book's all about. I show you how to not lose that love connection and make it stronger than ever. Don't you want to find another guy? Sure. Are you offering? No. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. I'm very open. Man, I love her. This is one of my favorite guests. I know. We're going to have you on again if you keep talking dirty. No, I'm serious. Absolutely. She she could read the phone book, and I'd have to leave the room again. Uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Jamie Turndorf is our guest, author of Kiss Your Fights Goodbye, Dr. Love's 10 Simple Steps to Cooling Conflict and Rekindling Your Relationship. How can stripping solve any relationship conflict, doctor? Oh, wait, are we asking the sex on the brain guy to answer this? (laughs) Well, no, I want you to answer I'm going to tell you exactly how. And I'm not talking about getting naked, okay? What I'm talking about... Stripping floors? No, I've seen your picture. Keep your clothes on. not getting naked. Stripping. Stripping, uh, we, we draw, what we do is, I actually show you how to strip away the overt content, content of what you're fighting about. Because couples will often get into these horrible battles of the bulge. You're not giving me enough the sex. Bulge. You're not giving me enough foreplay. And what happens is, so foreplay. often the overt Overrated. fight is not actually about sex. Like, for example, there was this couple, right, that came to see me. They weren't having sex anymore since she had a baby. So everybody would think, well, she lost her figure. He wasn't into her anymore. She had lost her drive. None of these things. It was, as I used my reading between the sheets technique with them, we uncovered that one day he looked at her when she was pregnant, and he remembered I know this is going to freak you out, right? Don't go he remembered there. his mother oh, being Oh, I knew you were going to do that, doctor. I'm serious. That's sick. You know what? Freud's rolling over in his grave. And it freaked him it's out, and complex. it turned him off to her. So when we finally realized what it was, and we made the, the link up, yo, he was back in action again. And That's some, a rally killer. And boss. sometimes the cigar is just a cigar. And sometimes, yeah. A baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? I love her. I love her. you. Should have now. When you are married for twenty eight, Tracy, <laughs> kinky doctor. Tracy, Tracy, you should yeah. have her on every week to talk about. You something. know what? We're going to have you on again. You understand me? Will, will really? you? Will you come on again, Doctor Turner? Will I come on again? Maybe I'll come on again. You know, I played for five major league teams. If that impress you at all? Yeah, that's probably why I went to the baseball bat routine. Yes, she did. I like you, there. Doctor. You, you know what he calls himself, Doctor? No. The, the tripod. He calls himself that. Yeah. So that he'll give you an, I know. He's probably hung like a field mouse. Uh, doc, Dr. Jamie Turndorf, thank Could you so much. Camera. You guys were fun. Thanks for All having right, me on. You. Now, I'm going to have to wave you a kiss so you can kiss your fights goodbye, right? Yep, yeah. absolutely. See you, Doc. All right, thank hey. you. Dr. Turndorf. See you. Excellent. That's why that woman's been married for 20 years. Excellent. Because she has a good yes. sense of humor. Traffic and weather together. Here's Bruce Davis uh, resolving his inner conflicts. Yeah, there you go. Hamilton, south of Reagan, in an accident involving a pedestrian. Now they're doing the investigation about it. Uh, south 75, the broken down south of Mitchell. You slow at Lachlan. You're slow approaching the bridge. Northbound, still slow. Mitchell to Paddock and around GE. 71 northbound between Montgomery and Pfeiffer. Southbound, reading to the bridges as you run through the tunnel. Um, Bruce Davis with traffic sponsored by Watson's for all the fun. 700 WLW. Clear, cold, nine for the low overnight. Tomorrow's sunshine early. Clouds increasing tomorrow afternoon. A chance of snow showers tomorrow night. And tomorrow's high 32, Friday up to 34 with maybe a few snow showers still hanging around. 21 now, 700 WLW. All right. 
if Eddie ever recovers from his terrible tragedy being at home, violated. being violated by the homeless guy, Stephen, and having him steal his Pipe. pipes, and he comes back, you ought to have that guest on again. I Dr. She was Jamie really good. Turndorf, very good. And she, man, she was, a lot of women are taken aback by your abrasive behavior <laughs> and your maturish 14-year-old. But she, you know you what, know, it is. It's very towel childish, whipping. but I, I I like doing that stuff. But she, but she didn't get She held her own, man. She was like right on it. But boom, you know boom, what I boom, like boom, in boom, a woman, boom. and I think women like it in men, is a good sense of humor. Oh, absolutely. Right? I mean, you want someone that sure. kids around, that can take it, is not so sensitive, and that's a perfect example. That's why that woman has been married 28 years, loved her husband. You know, he dies. I you mean, are, she would be a good catch. I mean, if you're some old bastard, nah, that ain't interesting. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she would you be. You don't know a, how old she was. Well, what do you she, mean, was so? she was, if she's over 35. But, well, you know, she would make you a, make you a good woman, though. I mean, she is you, right on. I like Regardless, her whether right I'm in here filling in again for Eddie at any point or, or when Eddie comes back and you have an issue like that you want to touch on, get her on the phone. I mean, she be would great. be an expert. I mean, just awesome. in relationship. And a relationship expert is someone that is in one relationship for, you know, 28 years. I mean, she's got good stuff to say. Kiss your fights. Goodbye, Dr. Love's Temples. Ten simple steps to cooling conflict, rekindling your relationship. Her name was Dr. Jamie Turndorf. And if you missed it, you can check out the podcast at 700 wlw.com the news then seg here at the home of the red 700 wlw apparently Dion sanders primetime is the most accomplished media sports personality at super bowl role media day yesterday is he's the only one that could get marshawn lynch or the seahawks to talk for six he, minutes he said a bad he, word too i heard yeah usually that's uh, pam oliver's job is she not the most beautiful woman she had beautiful hair pam oliver don't you like her I like her all right. Yeah, I, think I don't, she's I don't think she's my favorite. So insightful. The questions she asked. Oh, it's really like, something. Like Aaron Andrews? Yeah. Like CZ Cole? Like, explain that play. What happened there? I love it. I love it. So insightful. Remember when, when Joe Namath wanted to kiss Susie Culver? Oh, when he was hammered. Time? Yeah, when he was hammered. It was great. It was great. Uh, uh, Segman is yes. not in New York. He's here in the studio because somebody had to stay here and fight the good fight. In Cincinnati, USA. Segment, what you got? Buddy? News Radio 700 WLW Reds update. Reds have signed 34 year old infielder Ramon Santiago today to a minor league contract with an invite to spring training. Santiago's played short, uh, second and third base uh, last few years with the Detroit Tigers. If he makes a team, he gets uh, $1.1 million. Mm. When was the uh, last Brock- time the Reds had an Irish, uh, an ethnically Irish uh-huh. player like Santiago? But how about that is this? Irish, uh, isn't it? Former, uh, former Reds pitcher Bronson Arroyo. Sounding off to uh, Jason Stark of ESPN.com today on the uh, lack of uh, big league offers that uh, he's received this season. He doesn't even have an offer to turn down. I don't understand that. Do you look at that guy? He's getting better and better and better. I mean, he'll pitch you 200 innings, win you 15 games. That guy's a a really solid pitcher. I like him a lot. If if he can get out of the first inning. No, he he has some bad outings, especially if he's playing the Blue Jays. Very rare, Other than that. I think he saw. I mean, yeah. he had he had a really sore neck a lot of those games. Well, he can give up some gopher balls. Uh, That's college, home run side for you. College basketball. T- oh, thanks. I want to talk. I'll write that down. Uh, the college long basketball ball. tonight: Toledo and the Miami Redhawks of Millet Hall. Dayton hosting St. Joseph's. Round trip. Number twenty four. Ohio State faces Penn State and number one Arizona at Stanford. Touch them all tomorrow night. Top two teams in the American Conference battle it out long at the Yum Center. Number thirteen Cincinnati Wait, against number twelve Louisville. Bill Cook of the Enquirer. Says today that uh, J- Justin Jackson is expected to play tomorrow night. See you later. It's a tater. ECHL hockey tonight. Our beloved Cyclones are on home ice up against back, Reading. Back, 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 gone. And, uh, speaking of uh, Super Bowl, well, the big game is uh, Sunday in uh, MetLife Stadium. Broncos and uh, Seahawks. Kiss it goodbye. Uh, the action will be right here on the big one Sunday at 5 o'clock. The big game. That's, oh, the got? big game. For a homer, what, what's your seven hundred W ball W? No, no. What's your homer call? Like if you were yeah, doing a play by play and a guy hits a home run, what would you say? How would you typify that? You know what? That's a good question. I That's don't know. A, I'd have to. What's Marty's call? Use various. Even, uh, even, what what oh, does Marty has? Marty's Marty's got got it's out of here. I hear that a lot. It's out of here. If Oops, it's not wait a minute. The center fiddle caught it. He did that this year. <laughs> did he? Yeah. He's having trouble with his eyesight. <laughs> Now, now they're going to use. They, what are they going to use replays for in baseball? Anything except for balls and strikes? Is that correct? Not, pretty not much, balls. yeah. Yeah, but don't you think that play at second base with the tag? That's a tough call. How about a, a, an outfielder that traps the ball? Did he, you know, catch it on a bounce? That that kind of play. I think instant replay is good. I like that. 
You well, do. What, I do. It's going it's going to slow down the game what 3 minutes to look at it. A lot of other things slow down the game a lot more than that. Yeah, it's what I love about like, baseball. Like, you know, like somebody like Bronson Arroyo on the mound. It'll no, slow a game down. Pitches fast, wow. Bronson. Gary Jeff. But doesn't that surprise you that he doesn't I have an it, offer? It, it I mean, really a multi-year is, yes. offer. What would you pay him? I'd pay him three years. Well, they said they, they, that uh, the Mariners might be interested, but uh, he has, like he said, uh, he has no offers to turn down, which is. He's a solid guy, man. You, know, you can sit there and talk. Well, after that guy, sports. after Reds that guy, know that. the Reds know that the past few years. After so. that guy that the Mariners signed, uh, what's his Cano. name? Cano, Cano Robinson Cano. Cano. They don't have any money left to, to pay Bronson the Royal. Maybe they're waiting until every day goes by, Trace, and that price goes down. Maybe the Denver Zephyrs have an opening, Tracy. You played there. Could this be collusion again? Ooh, you think? Lawsuit. I don't know. How can this guy you can't sign Call the dog. a multi-year deal? I don't know. I, I thought he was oh. done. He was done. He had a great year. Thought he was done. No, no, no. That look, was his look last at the numbers, man. Well, let me ask you this then. Right, go ahead, Mister. I'm right here. Sports aficionado. Right. He used to host X Rings, you know. I know. But, yeah. Go ahead. That's the only time I ever heard you on the radio. Go ahead. And I said, "Oh, it's Trace," and go I ahead. switched to FM. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Peyton Manning had a fantastic set. All kinds of records this year. But if the Broncos win the Super Bowl on Sunday, I say Peyton's done. I, no, you, you, someone else said that the other day. I don't think he's going to retire. All I, I thought he was on target against the Patriots. He's an incredible quarterback. Oh, the unbelievable. Accuracy, not so much the arm strength, but, but great accuracy. Likening it to the Bronson Arroyo situation, if Peyton Manning wasn't under contract with the Denver Broncos, who's going to pick him up and, and, and the money? Say, well, if they're, if they're, I mean, I still think he has three years. years. He's an MVP. I mean, why would you dump an MVP? I think if, if the Broncos win the Super Bowl, he's had the Peyton best year Manning, of any quarterback in the history Peyton of the Peyton Manning NFL. sails away on top. And I think it's a smart Could you smart give move. it up after being MVP? Well, World Seri- uh, uh, Super Bowl MVP? I've been a number one rated radio show host, and I couldn't give this up. What? I mean, not anymore, but I have. So, did I ever tell you about the conversation I had? Somebody oh. came up to me and... Brought their kid up, and I know this guy for years. And I'm out at Alexandria doing MC. This is a story something. about you. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, he's bringing his eight year old kid up, and the kid looks at me, and his dad introduces. He said, "Looks at me, and he goes, are you famous?'" And I said, "I used to be." Traffic and weather together, Bruce Davis. Springdale Road closed between Pool Road and Corian Avenue because of an accident. Got wrecks on Five Mile at Beachmont, on Fields Hurdle at McCauley, cleaning up one Elm at West Freedom Way downtown, Calhoun between Clifton and Jefferson, and looking at uh, an accident as well on southbound Winton at Kemper, working on one on Township Avenue west of Vine Street, and a uh, broken down eastbound 74 on the ramp to Rybolt. That's slowing things down through there. I'm Bruce Davis with traffic sponsored by Watson's for all the fun. 700 WLW. Here it is, your Fox 19 storm track and forecast. Chief meteorologist Steve Horsmeyer calling for a clear cold night overnight, low of 9. Tomorrow we start today with sunshine, clouds on the increase, a chance of snow showers finally tapping in tomorrow night. Tomorrow's high 32 and cloudy and a few snow showers possible on Friday, especially early in the day, the high then 34. 20 now at 700 WLW. Gary Jeff Walker in with Tracy Jones this afternoon, primarily because Eddie made a, a boneheaded mistake trying to be nice to a homeless guy named Steven. Yeah, take it easy. Ripped him off. Got the story I, tomorrow I, at 306. I feel That'll terrible. Be back. feel terrible. I'm sure, Ed feels terrible. Certified financial planner Bob Lesnick joins us on the telephone. Bob, good afternoon. Welcome to uh, Gary Jeff and Tracy today on 700 WLW. Gary Jeff and Tracy, thank you uh, once again for allowing me the opportunity to be on. Bob, let, let's talk about identity theft. I mean, this is the fastest growing crime in this country. I mean, you just had the situation in Target where you had the credit cards compromised. I mean, we talk about it all the time on this show. But what should you do? Let's say you feel like your credit card is compromised. What's the first thing you do? Well, I'll tell you one thing. You've got to act fast. Yeah. Uh, probably the, what we like to tell you know, our clients is uh, you've got to contact the credit card companies immediately. You want to contact your bank and other financial institutions uh, again uh, immediately. You don't you don't know how much information a person or persons have about you at that point. Uh, and then you want to contact the major credit uh, bureaus, uh, Equifax, Experian, and, and of course TransUnion to put a fraud alert on the account. Is it is it easier just to carry cash? I mean, the thing is, if you're carrying a large amount of cash and you pull out a wad in Target or anywhere else, you're you're a mark for thieves there that'll just take it directly from you if they can, right? 
I still I still believe that that credit cards are very convenient and have sort of become the norm here in the United States. So I don't I don't know that the the option is to carry cash. Certainly, you have to carry some. Bob, but, but these bad guys, they really need your Social Security number. You really need to protect that number, yes? Um, you know, Ben Franklin said an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and, I, and it's my personal belief that in everybody's personal identity theft uh, plan of protection, uh, if you can take steps ahead of time to minimize your exposure, that's what you want to do. We have um, developed a list that, that we give to our clients you know, number one, uh, get an annual credit report from each of the agencies uh, every four months. You're allowed to get one, you know, every four months from each of the uh, – or... And how do you get that? Uh, annualcreditreport.com. Okay. And, again, you can get one from each of the agencies uh, per year, which we try to tell them do one every four months. You want to monitor, obviously, your bank and credit card accounts regularly. One of the things that I tell clients to do is to make sure to photocopy everything you have in your wallet or purse. That oh, way, like if it's that. taken, that's you know what was in there and, and, and who to contact. Oh, I, I, I never thought about yeah. that, but that's a great idea. You know, Ben Franklin also said, beer is proof that God loves us. So he had a lot of good quotes. I love that. Uh, Bob Lesnick, can you hang on just a second? Sure. All right, we'll be back to uh, talk about identity theft and what you can do to insulate or protect yours. <laughs> After all of the uh, the things we've seen lately, oh, Tracy referenced Target and yeah. all the rest. Yeah. Bruce Davis, what we got? Uh, got Springdale Road still closed between Pool and Colerain while they work on a multi-vehicle accident. And it broken down in the center lane westbound 275 west of Route 4. Still got accidents 5 Mile at Beachmont, Calhoun near Clifton, Elm at West Freedom Way, and Field Zertle at Macaulay. And working on an accident in Township Avenue west of Vine. New on the list, South 75 on the shoulder at 275 at Tri-County. And still working on the broken down East 74's ramp to Rival Road. Amber Davis with traffic sponsored by Watson's for all the fun. 700 WLW. Actually warmer overnight. The low only down to 9. Sunshine to start tomorrow. Clouds on the increase during the afternoon. Steve Horsmeyer at Fox 19 calling for a chance of snow showers again tomorrow night. Get set for another round. 32 the high. And then Friday, the snow showers, a few of them hanging around. First part of the day, a high up to 34. It is 19. Now, at 700 WLW, certified financial planner Bob Lesnick on the telephone. Tracy, what's Now, Bob, Bob, what about, and I'm, I'm thinking this is in my homeowner's insurance. Identity theft insurance. What's that? That that's in. I, I'm I'm sure in my homeowner policy. Yes? Your your homeowner policy probably has a very limited identity theft rider, which which is still excellent. It would provide probably a a, a set amount of funds should something happen um, to pay for attorneys or, or lost time at work. Uh, obviously, we see a lot of these commercial policies that have popped up from, there's probably 10 or 12 of them that I've reviewed that, that really have a menu of services, not just dealing with what, you know, if something happens, here's what we'll do, but they do a good job of, of helping you with the prevention. Of course, they monitor uh, continuously, and, and, of course, they would help you uh, actually repair that credit if, if you, uh, you know, unfortunately had that happen to you. Who are we talking about, a company like LifeLock? Yeah, there's quite a few of them out there. Uh, I don't want to get into to all of them. I think I've, I've actually seen in my practice a number of them do a good job. But they, they really do. I mean, even if, you know, we try to tell our clients that you want to have your own personal plan of action ready to go, um, prevention, uh, monitoring, and, you know, if something should happen, what would you do? The comprehensive policy may be part of that plan. And part of your plan may be your homeowner's policy, but you definitely want to have it mapped out ahead of time so that you, number one, minimize the exposure, but not, and next, if something happens, uh, you'll know what to do. Right. Well, here's the thing. Something happens, as you mentioned, and you talked about, you know, God forbid, having to rebuild your credit. It's not easy to do, is it? It's really not no, easy to rebuild. Once, once they've gotten a hold of your information and you've been taken for this money, I mean, you may recoup some of the lost funds but actually rebuilding your credit is is a tough tough act isn't it Bob? i've heard some more stories where it could take years and you know a lot of times you have to get attorneys involved and, and take time off work and you know write hundreds of letters and be diligent about it but uh, it can be done now one thing i will say in in doing research on this i was a a, a victim of identity theft at one time a credit card uh, theft and you know, law enforcement really does a pretty good job. Butler County Sheriff did a, a real nice job and actually caught the lady who 
who had stolen my credit card, um, and she's now in jail. Oh. So, you know, they, they have gotten much better. Banks, financial institutions have gotten much better at dealing with this. A lot of times they'll notice the, the fraudulent activity and notify you before you notice it. So these financial institutions is, are doing a, a pretty good job. The other thing that I'll mention is computers. I mean, we're all using our computers, smartphones, and everything else. You have to make sure that you have some type of fire, firewall virus, spy, uh, spyware protection. Mm-hmm. Um, any personal information or business information you have to make sure is either encrypted uh, and or has very strong passwords, um, especially on the smartphones. It seems like we're doing so much more with the with the. Uh, the smartphones and the iPads and things like that. Yeah. Bob, you, you were a victim of identity theft. I was, too, going back uh, five or six years ago. But, you know, who wouldn't want to be Tracy Jones? But i tell you how I got it off. I sent it to the credit agencies. But I also had to file a police report. You have to have that, right? Yeah. In, in, in most cases, especially if you have to uh, go back and, and dispute some of the charges or fraud, fraudulent checks or whatever it may be, they're going to require a police report. So that's very, very important. I'll tell you something that happened to me the other day. I happened to find it. My checkbook, I lo- and I can't believe I did that. I'm a lot more responsible than that. But I lost my checkbook for a couple days. If you lose your checkbook, what's the process there? What should you do? Well, if you lose your checkbook, uh, we tell clients all the time, immediately shut the account down. You know, there, there would be probably some checks that haven't cleared, although that, you know, the check clearing happens very quickly now. But... The checks that aren't clear, just reissue them from a new account and put a letter with it, explain to the, the merchant or whoever you wrote the check to what had happened, oh, so, uh, but immediately shut it down. So you can't just uh, uh, enumerate the checks that may be missing that you didn't write and just use a new book. You should, you should start a brand new account. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. You, you know, that would be more of a bank question. You know, banks nowadays may be able to do that, allow certain checks to come through. I've always been told just to shut it down immediately and, and reissue the checks with a letter or call, you know, call the, the merchant or whoever you wrote the check to and, and explain to him what's going on. Yeah. Bob, you have any of those numbers? I hate to catch you kind of off guard here with, with Equifax and Experian, TransUnion. You have those numbers that people can contact? Yeah. In fact, I put together a little brochure. If any of your listeners uh, call the office, we'll send it out. It's very generic. It talks about a lot of the websites. Um, one of the other things that we recommend is to keep a low profile. You know, I talked about, you know, some of the prevention things. You can go to, and, and again, I won't list all these numbers or, or email addresses, right. uh, uh, websites, but you can go to, like, do not gov and take yourself off of, of certain yeah. uh, call lists. You can go and take yourself off of most mailing and email lists, uh, marketing lists. Most people don't know that's even out there. Um, though, that's, a, that's a big uh, prevention yeah, that would help. And that phone number is for the office? 513-513-779-3777-3777-513-779-3777. Bob Lesnick, Certified Financial Planner on Identity Theft and does some really good information. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Bob. Right. Tracy, almost perfect show except for my screw-up in the first hour. I'm sorry. I thought you did a pretty good job. What I liked about you today... Yeah. is you gave 110%. That's what I'm looking for is effort. How, how do you do that, give 110%? You just try. It's impossible, but you can at least try. All right. We'll try again soon. All right. Good All job. Right. Thank you. Uh, Lance you McAllister, Sports Talk, and so much more just ahead. This is the home of the Reds, 700 WLW.